So, let's start from the very beginning of the universe. Good software designers do not exist. Period. All talented designers are on hardware. And let's watch for a moment what my fellow enemies in Tesla are doing. You go into that, and then you choose a character, and you choose a track, and then you can actually race a beach buggy in your Tesla. And of course, the way you do that is you use the steering wheel and the pedals to drive around your race car while you're sitting in your Tesla. And now let's watch what the software designers are doing. Those are some new mock-ups for settings app, and what I specifically want to show you here is the multitasking options. And even more specifically, I want to show you the option for the fixed virtual desktops, that has a fixed number of workspaces. This feature is already available on Tweaks app, so basically they are moving in on settings, and so far all good. So we can switch to static workspaces, and set a fixed number, for example 6. But when you do, you instantly realize two things. First you need to adjust the number of workspaces directly from Dome Shell, rather going into settings each time, and second, you need to be able to reorder the workspaces with drag and drop. That last is also super useful on dynamic workspaces, and it is an upstream functionality a Mutter contributed from elementary developers. So pretty much all the backend code is here, and it is only the UI hooks missing. I realize that Shell has bigger issues than this, but when you're missing the simple things, how you can possibly provide good user experience on more complicated stuff? Anyway, this video isn't about Shell, it is about the Deepin desktop, and let me go into a quick story mode. Originally I had sketched this video on my mind like this. First, I would show GNOME settings mockups. Then I would make a more extensive talking about the issues. Then I would show how Deepin virtual desktops work. And I would end up with Plasma that workspaces and Windows overview in general, are the super first problems to fix, and they keep developing everything but those. And so, I installed Deepin on a quick emulator to show you their magical virtual desktops. And then, this thing happened. The awesome Deepin virtual desktops were gone, and they are replaced with this awful thing same as Plasma, and I suspect that had to do as part of the transition from Mutter to K1. You may now translate this video as a hate video, but in reality is a video of disappointment. I love Linux desktop, and it really hurts me to see terrible things happening on it. In fact, I'd be super happy if everything was nice, both Windows and Linux, but both are really failing in terms of design and excitement. And you should know, it is always the design that drives the technology, and not the other way around. And you guys, you should give UX feedback on the desktops you use, and not just opening bugs. And desktop designers should really start doing concept art, and giving hard brainstorming to developers. And by concept art, I mean things that are totally not possible to be done with the current technology.